education during the commercial break about basically there's an app for everything. Tell them about the app, Ashley the Madison. Ashley Madison. Well, and I guess that um, Stuart, our producer was just telling me that um, Carol Cavazos on uh, CBS 11, I guess, did a story on it several years ago. It must have been before I moved here. And um, it's a site that basically blasts out that it's people who are in relationships or married and they're looking to just have a, an affair. An affair. Yes. So to and cheat. So they're to for cheat. cheaters. It's for cheaters. And I guess there was a big billboard off the highway here. Yeah, somewhere? They, there was a huge, there was uh, several billboards off the off the highway here promoting it. It was, you know, like save your marriage. You know what's That's really, insane. You, oh, you know what's really interesting about this? If, if you are married and you're going to that and your husband or your wife wants to divorce you, this is a great way to get a lawyer and you lose all your money because mm -hmm. you are proven to be yeah. cheating, so you get nothing in the marriage and shouldn't. Mm -hmm. well, and I, you should get squat. And I, if you, I'm sorry, if you are married, then why would you want to go do that? And if you want to go do that, then don't be married. That's right. right? It's crazy. But y'all, people are cheating on, like, this is... I don't think this is, I think we act like, oh my God, you're cheating, but people do this all the time. And no, not to be true. like, not to like, I'm really naive to it. And that they people do it are married. emotionally, not just physically too, which well, yeah. is also cheating. And like, so I have friends that, you know, not friends, whoa, wrong term, friends, but I know of people, you know, that are my age, even a little bit older that, you know, have had affairs that are in marriages and yeah. they're new marriages. So it's like, this is so not rare. And I think we are always shocked when people come out and we're having an affair. It's like... Yeah. People do this, and it's sad that so, the, that the so institution we'll, of marriage isn't respected that way. And that's probably one of the reasons that I have chosen, like, not to be married. You know, because well, it's and like it's so, so many people cheat. it's so easy to get married, but it's so difficult to get divorced. It should be the other way around. It should be, you should have to work to, for your marriage, to work to but get married. But so many people are just lazy. So uh, let me ask you something. If they're newly married, why are they cheating? Because... You know, okay, just is because they're not sexually fulfilled? You know, I think in this situation when it's like women that cheat on men, I think there's women that have always been able to like get any guy that they want. You know, like they can always get the attention of men wherever they go. And then all of a sudden when they have attention of just one man, they're like maybe not content with that anymore. They need the adoration. And they still they need, want and the, some men so they, they need to go attention. they need to go to therapy. Well, I mean, that's well, where they need to be, no, is in therapy. If true, all their like, life is built around how many men they can but get. But so many girls are like that. It's like, how can they, They you see it happen all the time. So they just love attention. They love that attention from, from men. For men, too, though. I've, I've so met they plenty have of men that are like that. They, need the they attention. have no self control. They have no high standards. Really, they don't. They don't have any high standards right. at all. They can't discipline themselves. And so they need therapy. You're right. Susie. Yeah. I so, agree. That's you it. are right. Or Seriously. just call Susie and she'll tell you <laughs> yeah, exactly what she thinks about. Yeah, call Susie. She'll get free therapy here every Wednesday on Susie um, Says So.